there have been two major athletes who had hand injuries. One of them, LeBron James, apparently he played in the NBA Finals maybe with a broken hand, maybe it was after, we're a little confused as to really what happened there, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so we'll talk about that in, the min in a minute. Um, uh, he showed up in the post-finals interview, of course, with the cast. And then there's pro tennis player Rafael Nadal. He recently won the French Open, and we heard that he got a pretty serious hand cramp that was checked mid-match. So let's back up, let's talk about LeBron. Uh, can you play basketball with a broken hand, or what? what? Typically, you're not going to be able to play with a broken hand. Okay. Or at least you're not going to be able to perform to your max level. Okay. So, Even if, if you're superhuman LeBron? Even if you're superhuman LeBron. Okay, okay, he's superhuman. And what about uh, Nadal? Nadal, I would say a hand cramp is something that could be worked out during the match, massaged, and that kind of thing. The athletic trainers are very good at handling those types of things. Get, hydrate them, massage the hand out, stretch it out. So that, it, it, you, that could pass. And uh, in terms of treatment, how important are braces for injuries like fractures or like sprains? So braces are an integral part or a component of the rehab program. These diagnoses are gonna require mostly either immobilization or mobilization, depending on where you are, what phase you are within the injury. Initially, fractures and sprains, you wanna immobilize, but then later on, you may develop stiffness and you're gonna to wanna to mobilize and then you're gonna wear a, special, a specialized type of brace that will get the body part moving.